Hi, I'm Nicholas Boothman, author of Convince Them in 90 Seconds or Less, and I'm going to show you how I convinced my three-year-old twin uh, grandchildren not to come in my kitchen in 30 seconds or less. Uh, I talk all over the world and um, tease my audiences sometimes by saying there are techniques even to stop your children doing certain things and everybody wants to know how. So here's how. Um, and it goes like this. Most people bring up, many people bring up their children by, by saying don't all the time. Don't come in the kitchen. Don't touch this. Don't touch that. It doesn't work with children. You have to put things into the positive. So what happened when they came into the kitchen was, if, and this is the counter and this is the floor and this is me and they were there this big and they would come in and all I would do would be this. Uh, looking at them. Uh oh. Other side, good. Those three things. All's in a dispassionate voice. And, 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 and the reason is that the uh-oh, which is a, a physical uh, command or uh, gesture, always the same. And the voice, the signal, uh-oh, meant something. It was a trigger. Then I told them what I wanted to do, them to do, which is stand there. I went, other side. And then I said, good. Before they even got there, when they got there, I did say good again. They come in once, and I would go, uh-oh. Other side, good, and they'd look at me, and then they would get it. They would go and stand there. Then they'd try it again with a smile, thinking it was a game. Same thing, uh-oh, other side, good. Eye contact, etc. Then, of course, they'd run down the other end here and try the same thing again. I would do exactly the same thing, uh-oh, other side, good. Within 30 seconds, they probably tried it three or four times. Within 30 seconds, they realized when I said, uh-oh, like this, they had to go and stand there. From then on, this was about two years ago, from then on, if they do come in, they'll stand and watch until they're invited. But if they're not invited or they try, it's enough just to say, uh-oh, and they go straight back there because they're triggered to go back there. Give it a shot. Positive language. Interrupt the pattern. Tell them what you want and say good. All the best. Good luck. Thanks.